Hey, it's Forward Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. And today the subject is girls knowing what to do, but not doing it. Yeah. And, and a good example is when girls will look at a younger girl, let's say a girl's in her 30s, and she is advising a friend of a girl who's 25, she's like, hey, this girl needs to get it together. Yeah. Because she needs to find a husband, and she needs to start having kids, and she needs to get happy and settle down and get quit, quit wasting time. Right, right. And the girl telling the story is 34 and single with no kids and never <laughs> has no boyfriend. You yeah, know. no prospects. Why is this not uncommon? Why do girls know what to do, but they are different? Their situation is different. I think I think it comes down to exactly what you're saying. Girls think that their situation was different. The older girl, whether she's giving advice to her little sister or a younger friend or just someone maybe, a lot of times it's like a coworker or someone she meets in kind of a professional realm. Girls give advice as to what they know they should have done, but didn't do. So, you know, I would say, but but like in your example of, you know, um, the 34 year old who's not married, no kids, who goes home to a pet dog every night instead of a man and kids, she's advising the 26 year old are, are you getting married? When when are you and your boyfriend getting married? When are you going to have kids? You know, kind of pushing her in that direction. Right, right. And when she thinks about her at that age, or if the girl says, well, you aren't married. You you seem to have a great life. You seem to love your life. Yeah. You know, because she's not seeing the fact that she's drinking a bottle of wine and crying every night. But she the response from the older girl is always... The, the excuse, the, well, you know, I was, I was engaged to Mark, but that, you know, it fell, he, through. He, it fell through. He turned out to be a cheating, lying, blah, yeah. blah, blah, or whatever. Or there's some, I was in medical school at the time or whatever the reason there's is, there's always a qualifier. Now make no mistake. There are plenty of girls who live that same exact life who still ended up with the great kids and the great husband and the great family and at 34 are not alone with an alcohol problem. True. But, and and this is just one of many kinds of examples, but the bottom line is just like you said, they always qualify it. There's always a reason that they were the special unicorns in their story. I think one of the biggest segments of this story that we're talking about right here. Yeah. Where women did one thing, but they're advising the younger girls to do another, is these moms that were stay-at-home moms. Yeah. Never had a complaint. Never had to work outside of the house. Uh Uh-huh. Had a great life, but they want... She needs to make her own money. Yeah, they want their kids, their daughters. Yeah. Yeah, greener on the... You know, you should be able to make your own money. Not realizing, like... Like your dad told you, you there's never a girl that's able to run the career and run the family with balance. Right. You know, it's true. You're going to get good at one or the other, and it doesn't work out. But I noticed that there's a lot of older women advising younger girls to, you know, get a career. Don't worry about getting a husband. Don't, Yes. Not not all. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's we know segments that sure, you know, but they didn't have it, and, and a lot of times they were probably more in a like with married to an alcoholic or kind of stuck. Yeah. You know, financially or you know, with their family pressures, but um, you do see a lot of because even the girls will laugh about it. They'll be like, "Mom's like my mom's like, don't worry about getting married. Have fun." Uh-huh. You know, sleep around, meet some bad boys, and get an education, and get, an education get, a get a good job. Yeah. And she's like, and she's never, I've never seen her five feet away from my dad. Exactly. You know, I mean. 1,000%. Yeah. She's yeah. never worked a day outside of the house. Yeah. 
you know, it's it's bizarre. But a lot, I think a lot of it is, you know, that generation up into the seventies felt trapped. Yeah, I think and you're so right. So you kind of hear the echo of that. And like you say, a lot of them ended up in marriages with people who turned out to be kind of angry alcoholic, Rough, yeah. rougher than yeah. you know. But they didn't have any any options. way to get out. Yeah, and I think what they can want to convey is you need to have options, but because they can't see it, it's like. It's one way or the other. You yeah. know what I mean? And girls are ending up not very happy. Yeah. You know? but no, not at all. So. Because truly, I mean, there are very, 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 very few exceptions to the rule that a woman over the age of 30 even, who's not married with no kids, she goes home at night and she is depressed. Yeah. That's why you see so many of that kind of of group being like hard partying girls. It's true. Because it's the only distraction they have from yeah. the fact that they are home alone. There's only so many brunches, only so many girls trips, uh -huh. only so many randos you yeah. can bang. When it starts taking a toll on your psyche. It's not fulfilling. And we know, and we know, I mean, when you look at the statistics, it throws people off. 86 to 90% of women will have a birth by the age of 40. Right. I mean, the vet, I mean, basically women were born to have more kids. Yeah. And when they don't fulfill that, other than a very small percentage that yeah. are hardwired to do other things, they're not happy. No. You know, it's it's traumatizing. It is, it, traumatizing is the perfect word yeah. for it. It so, is. So that's, and I think a lot of guys don't realize, because you, you'll hear people th go, they don't even think about it, they're like, well, like 50% of girls don't have kids. No. A teeny tiny portion of women will not have children in their lifetime. Yeah, by you choice. Know, by choice. Yeah. And, yeah, exactly. You, you'll have a segment of like 5% that try, want to, try IVF, and are unable to conceive. Right, you know? right. So, yeah, but the vast majority, 86 to 90, I've seen both numbers, um, and it throws people. They, they don't believe it. Right. You know, but it's it's 86 to 90% of women are going, 9 out of 10 women will have a child. A, a live birth yeah. by the age of 40. Exactly. So literally, if you're meeting a not married, no kids girl, bet I would say between the ages of 30 and 40, likelihood is she is very lonely no matter yeah. what kind of, what she's trying to perceive yeah. on on social media or in person. Even Rolla said like what around twenty seven. Yeah. They had that epiphany. They're like, oh shit. Oh shit. I can't party all my life. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think the average age for first birth is twenty eight. Don't hold me to that. Oh really? But a lot of times it's what girls see around them. Yeah. You know a lot. I, mean? I would say a lot has to do with like your friends. If all your girlfriends what your are area is in, what area of the country you're in. Yeah. I mean, if if you're Growing up in an area where people tend to stay in the neighborhood uh -huh. or nearby, and you're connected through social media, and so you have 10, 15 friends, and they're almost all getting married. Yeah. Married or getting married, and you don't have any prospects. You just broke up with your last two year boyfriend. Yes. Yeah. Or, and some are starting to have kids because usually you're married, what, about a year to two years? Yeah. And then they start having kids. Yeah. You know, it's. It's, it's rough for women because they're hardwired. Guys, it's a little longer. And, and I've never really understood or heard any men, 40, 45, 50, lamenting if they're single, you know, I wish I had a wife and kids. Yeah. You don't, I've not, never heard that complaint. Well, but they like, may have it. Yeah, like you've pointed out, though, it's also, first of all, guys can have kids until yeah, he dad's can do it practically. At 50. Yeah, yeah. But also, they also, it's not on the the radar of most men. No. To get married and start Wouldn't a family. Even cross his mind. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. even cross his mind. She didn't even he didn't even know she wanted to get married. That no. kind of thing. No. But it makes me think of the female client that we have. She's got baby fever bad. She's twenty six. She's got a boyfriend. Yeah. You know, last year during the wedding season, you know, summer months, they went to seven weddings like in a row it was like 
a five week period, they went to seven weddings. I thought she was going to lose her mind. Yeah. Because she's not engaged yet to this boyfriend. You know, like. And he was very, he was even much more wishy washy then. Yeah. Now I think she's kind of locked him in a little bit better, but she's still not engaged. Well, but didn't she even like, she had mentioned like a wedding ring and he goes, I didn't even know you wanted one. Yeah. Oh, you were serious about that? Yeah. Kind oh, of that kind of thought. It was just a conversation. <laughs> I mean, a lot of guys don't know. They don't know. Yeah. I mean, they're smart, advanced degrees. Right. They've had girlfriends before, but they literally, most men would be happy not knowing any different to just date or hang out or live together yeah forever yeah you know not have any i mean she never brought it up you know i mean <laughs> well i'm sure she did yeah but, but you know what i'm saying exactly I mean, they all say it's like yeah, oh they, they don't know. oh i didn't know you want i mean or a lot of times the girl's actually packing and walking out it's true when he realizes that she wanted to get married yeah you know she's it's already true. moved on but, funny. but girls will definitely give younger girls the advice that they should have listened to when they yeah. were that age but make no mistake the younger girls or the, the older girls at younger ages, they got the same advice. They just didn't listen to no, it. No. Make no mistake. They're like, don't make my mistakes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. that's why I always say anytime that older people of any kind age are, are giving advice to younger people, I always want to say, what would it have taken for you at that age to have actually heard this advice and taken it instead of done the exact opposite, which is what you did. Yes. Because that matters. Because yeah. we all we all have people talking in our ear and trying yeah. to kind of keep us on a good path. Yeah. But it's whether we actually are too smart to right. know better, you yeah. know, at before our brains are even in fully one ear out the other. Yeah. It's a big deal. And it kind of and it does help you. And the reason we're talking about this stuff because it's it's definitely girl world stuff. Yeah, that's true. Is, so you just get it. Girls want guys that just get it. And the more you know about girls and how they think and how they interact with you and the world and each other, the easier it is for you to just get it. Yeah. You know, because a lot of guys get all confused when they hear a girl say one thing, but she lived another way, and they're like, she just lying or is she really you know is she giving this girl bad it, it's the way they're designed you yeah. know and the, this is the situation the more you know about girls the better you can be one of those guys that just gets it that's true you know that's, that's accurate. why we share this stuff with you so if you guys like this podcast please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and if you have any questions that you'd like to ask directly to Fort Worth or I we both do consults we will sit down with you for an hour and We'll hash out whatever specific issues that you're dealing with in your life. The links are down below to both of those. Uh, we love we love meeting with you guys one on one and really get, getting a plan together to move you forward and out of the the rut or the problem that you're in right now. We want you to win. Bye.